Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little John Sharns. I'm Alicia. If this is your very first time here, what we like to do, we talk about crochet and crochet patterns and what's going on in crochet world and usually like to have a little drink at the same time. So it is two o'clock here and a chilly, chilly Friday, I mean Friday, Saturday. So what's going on with everybody here? I'm going to hop into the chat and see how people are doing. But don't mind me. I'm a little flustered today. I didn't have everything ready before I start, but don't worry. We're going to get this started. So let's see who's in the comments. Oh, so far, nobody's chatting yet. So, so yeah, since nobody has started with the chat, I want to hop into my Lydia's latest. If you've been following anything on my Facebook page or for the past like two weeks on my YouTube, I've been talking about this wonderful little girl. She is 10 years old. She just started crocheting a little bit under a month ago. She's already created slippers, scarves, headbands, and she's already started her own pattern design. So I wanna show you exactly what this 10 year old girl who's only been crocheting a month has already designed. So let me share my screen. She is 10, she designed her very first shawl. Isn't she the cutest little thing? I hope some yarn company notices her. I wanna get her some yarn. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to have her on our show. Maybe for like a 10 minute thing, nothing big. Let's see if I can get it back to me. Cause this little person is so amazing. I started crocheting when I was seven, but I truly didn't make anything of substance until like teenage years. It was like little tiny things, washcloth, never creating an own pattern. There was something my grandmother helped me with. This child, absolutely amazing. Okay, we finally got people in the chat. We got 51 people here. Okay, I'm like, I'm not gonna be here alone today. So let's see. Oh, uh, we got one of my faves. Sabrina, how you doing? And another fave, Miss Lori, welcome back. How cute is she? She is adorable and she's a sweet little girl too. How many 10 year olds do you know that crochet? Her mother was telling me she's even encouraged some of, the, of her other little friends to learn how to crochet. She said a little boy, he learned how to uh, crochet a chain. So that's amazing. Maybe she'll be the next crochet superstar. What's up, Crystal? And hello to you too, Kim. All right, so I'm gonna need your guys' help with something. I set up something new with my lights and bubbles. Usually, if you uh, support help support this channel through Super Chat, there's a little dollar sign. And when you do, the lights go off, the bubbles blow, and you get to spin the wheel of patterns. But today, if you become a subscriber of this channel, I just wanna see if the lights will go off and the bubbles will blow. So I rigged this. If you are not a subscriber, could you click the subscribe button? I just wanna see if the lights and stuff go off in the background and see if I have this rigged correctly. All right, so let's hop right into this. So today, we are going to be looking at 10 amazing doily patterns. Yes, some people might think, oh, doilies are old fashioned. We love them. I think they're beautiful. And especially if you like up the yarn weight, you can create some absolutely beautiful rugs. So that's what we're going to be checking out here today. All right. Before we hop into this roundup, just so you know, if you're watching this video on a replay, you can get all these free patterns. They will be linked down in the description box below. They're all free and you can go directly there. You don't have to worry about uh, me talking. Okay, I think I set everything up. No, I forgot. I usually ask the question before we hop into the roundup. So the question for you guys today, do you have any crochet rescue items? Let's, I'm not talking about just yarn you find at the thrift store. Let's say you've seen a crochet item at your friend's house or a completed crochet item at the thrift store. Have you ever rescued any crochet items before? So before you comment in the comment box, make sure you put uh, question marks in front of your answer so I know to bring it to the front. All right, so let's hop directly into this roundup. The first pattern is called Ray of Sunshine. 
You get the best of both worlds with the texture and lace when it comes to the Ray of Sunshine doily from Lost Crochet. There's also a smaller version that you can see on the edges of the photo that work with this coaster. This is absolutely gorgeous, but wait, my lights and stuff went off. I think that somebody said, no, it was a super chat. So we know the super chat works. Thank you so much, Lori Murphy. You know, I always appreciate you. The other kids I have seen is Jonas. Uh, Jonas, yeah, yeah, I think a couple years ago, he was 11 or something. He was crocheting, but I think he was like crocheting way before that and like a lot of patterns. How old is he now? He has to be at least a teenager. He had such amazing patterns. He even made it on a Drew Barrymore show. But since you donated, you get to spin the wheel of patterns. Here we go. Let's see what Lori gets. Lori, you know, you have a couple of my patterns. So if you ever want anything else, just let me know. So you receive the three in one pattern. Let me show you what that one looks like. There it is. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com so you can receive your pattern. Because remember, guys, I can't find you. So my email address is linked down below. And oh, let me turn this off. <laughs> at least we know that uh, bubbles work for the super chat. All right, let's hop back into the roundup again. Thank you so much, Lori. All right, the next pattern. Let me scroll down so you guys can see a little bit. These doilies are absolutely gorgeous. To me, this is like a piece of art I would probably put on my wall and frame it. That's how gorgeous it is. So let me read exactly what this one is. I think I got my patterns out of order. Oh no, I can't find the name of this pattern. Actually, let me just scroll and look at it. I'm not gonna read mine. Oh girl, I cannot read that name. Draguna, this is the Dra Draguna pattern. Or no, it's made by Draguna. What's the name of this pattern? Not exactly sure. Oh, it's called Starlight. I love the way it looks like the star is radiating from the sitter, as you can see here, and it like radiates out. That is absolutely gorgeous. Know what? Get this in some super ball. Now, this looks like it's made already in worsted weight yarn. So I don't know how much you can scale up on this pattern let's see the materials nope it's crochet thread so up this to some bulky yarn or some rope that would be a gorgeous carpet rug carpet not carpet you know what i mean so the question that i asked you have you ever rescued anything an old crochet item that you now you see there's rescue animals i have like rescue uh, rescue crochet items that i'm like Oh, I should say. So I'm going to go first. This right here. Oh, you probably can't see it. Let me lift it up some off the mannequin. I found this crochet poncho at a thrift store. It was like $3. I'm like, geez, look how gorgeous this is. I think my lights are too bright. Give me a second to turn down my lights. Okay, so you can see the stitches a little bit better. Okay, Oop, too, too dim. Too damn tip. There we go. Can you see the puff stitches on that? That is gorgeous. My goal was to recreate this so I can do it again because there's like a little burn mark. Let me put this down. There's a little burn mark on here from the previous owner. There it is. Like somebody did not love it. I'm like, how dare they? Oh, and looking from the burn mark, I don't know. It's, yeah, that's definitely acrylic. It was melted, but beautiful. So let me hop into the comments. What is one of the items that you have rescued? <laughs> Lori, I would have rescued that too. It's so thick. Unfortunately, it's a little snug on me. I feel like I'm suffocating while in it. I might try it on while I go through here. Let's see. Kimberly says, I haven't, but everyone seems to find them and bring them to me. No, at least you don't have to pay for the rescue. Let's see, anybody else? Let's see. Sabrina, I rescued a cardigan made from crochet thread. 
a cardigan from crochet. I had to do a double cake. After I read that, I had to come back again. Ooh, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Janice says, I love the idea of upping the yarn weight to make rugs. Thanks for making this suggestion. All right, I want to try this on. I haven't tried it on in years. Let's see, let me hide this comment. See, the head hole is really small. That's the thing that's, I just can't get my head in it. Maybe if I just undo the seams, I'll be able like I'm giving birth out of some yarn. Let me stop this. If the hole was bigger, or maybe it was made for a child or something. I'm not sure, but it's uh, so gorgeous. All right, so let's hop back into this. I wish I could try it on. Yeah, I'm definitely going to unknot that. It doesn't look too difficult because, <laughs> like me, they didn't weave in their ends, thank God, so I can unweave it. All right, so guys, remember, if you would like, Make sure you check all the free patterns down below. These are some amazing designers. So we're going to hop back into this roundup. And I am going to ask you your very next question. Do you have any crochet items that you absolutely cherish? It can be something that you made from your very first item that you made or something that you were proud of or something that was handed down to you from an aunt, a grandmother, a mother, something like that. So do you have a crochet item that is cherished? Before you answer, make sure you put question marks in front of your answer so I know to bring it to the front. Where's my glasses? I won't be able to read. I feel naked without them. Ugh. I got my face back. Here we go. And our next one, this is called the evocation. Some crochet doily patterns are so intricate that the instructions need to be split into multiple parts. This, de this design is just one of those, but the reward of this gorgeous doily is worth the effort. The designer of this pattern is once again, Draguna. I can't believe this pattern is like split into several sections, but I can understand why. I think after finishing this, I would be so flipping proud of myself. And once again, I'm probably going to say this about all the doilies. I would put this on a wall. I'm either going to say put this on the floor or put this on a wall and not use them as a doily. This, this is art, complete art. I guess maybe in the centerpiece to your table. Oh, gorgeous. Any work through pictures? Oh, yeah. Each one of these rows got some instructions to it. But you know what? It's hard work, but it looks like it's definitely worth it. Gorgeous. So our next pattern. This is called the, let me scroll so you can see it a little bit better. Making sure I'm sharing the screen. Sometimes I don't. The Citrus Blossom. Here's one of those crochet doily patterns, free for beginners, that I mentioned. That's nothing too fancy about the stitch work, and the recommended yarn is a nice fingering weight. A welcome change of pace for a fiddly crochet thread. The designer of this is Consciously Crochet. Ooh, you know me, I and thread does not mix. This is like a breath of fresh air where you're not using such a small weight yarn. Oh, look how cute this is. See, sometimes you need to stage your picture right to see if this is going to work in your house. And this is gorgeous. And a simple pattern. All right, guys. So did anybody uh, try to subscribe yet? Because I know the lights didn't go off for that. For subscribing, it doesn't cost any money. I just want to see if I rig my lights to trigger when somebody subscribes to the channel. So if you are new here and watching for the first time and want to help me with this experiment, click the subscribe button. I want to see if these lights flash. All right. So my question to you, do you have any crochet items that you cherish? Something that you might have made yourself or something that was passed down to you. So I am going to go first. First, I'll start with this multicolored, just mismatch put together blanket. None of the yarn matches at all, but that's what I find great about it. This was made by my grandmother. Um, one of her later creations in life, probably like one of the last two years of her life, when she wasn't able to go out and buy yarn for herself, 
but she just loved the act of crocheting. So she just took whatever yarn that she had in her stash, let it be Christmas in the middle, and she had a little bit of pink left. She would just crochet. But I think I'm going to do a tutorial. Unfortunately, it has a rip in it. So I might do a tutorial about how to like remin crochet. But this is precious to me. I have a couple things. All right. The next one was made by my uh, Mama John. That is great grandma Little John on it, um, husband's side of the family. So these are super old. I guess this was the underskirt for this crochet baby doll dress. I do have a baby. Uh, I'm going to have to show you this next week. I do have a baby doll. I should have put it inside for you. But look how gorgeous this is. So this isn't made by grandma. Nope. Maybe this was made by grandma and that great grandma. Yes, it was made by grandma Thelma. So she recently passed away. But this is some of her work. And I'm just so proud to have this. But something that was made by great grandma, little John. She was born in like. 1899 so this is something that she was made she made this is made with crochet thread this is a tablecloth it's about eight to nine feet long look how gorgeous this is this is like a family heirloom can you see that I look at these stitches and I imagine, I don't know exactly when this was made, that somebody just sat down and made each, look at the little tiny Pico stitches. I don't know. I feel like I'm holding like a piece of history, some art and hard work that somebody worked on at one point in time. I should probably try to look for mistakes, to, not mistakes to show that they did something bad because this is absolutely gorgeous just to see like the personality in it. But those are some of the things that I cherish that was passed down to me that I will never let go. But my number one is from uh, my grandma, this Mitch Mac blanket, just because she wanted to crochet and she just used the yarn that she had in her house. So, yes. So let me hop into the comments. I'm holding it like it's a blankie just to know my grandma's hands were on it. Okay, scrolling. Okay, Jessica says, I made my great grandma's blanket for her birthday and my daughter got uh, the last baby blanket from my great grandma. I have a picture of it. It's one of my faves. They just love those family heirlooms, especially without, you know, like that was one of the last blankets and one of the last things she created with love. Let's see. What's up, babe? She crochets by Cool Crafty Creations. One of the items I made that I truly cherish is my queen size uh, Burnett blanket. It took 10 huge skeins of the yarn to make, but it's just one of my favorites that I made over seven years ago. I have, whew, I've made some blankets, but not too many. Queen, no. Mm. Jamie. So, oh, give yourself a cheers for that one. Big blankets. Jamie Q. My great grandmother crochet. Oh, my great grandmother's crochet hooks and many of her lace items. I remember watching her fall asleep crocheting thread items when I was a wee little girl, and she never missed a stitch. Mm. Love hearing these stories. It makes me think about my grandmother. Heather Stevens says a baby blanket that I made for my 22 year old son when I was pregnant by a by a crotch. When I was pregnant by a crotch, I can't read the rest of that. <laughs> Cynthia, I remember an old coworker made me a blanket and I still have. And my first baby blanket that I made for my son, who is now 40. Your son is still a baby. An old baby. Did you make any for your, uh, does he have any kids? Did you make any for grandkids? Another fave, Leanne, my first garment. In the retrospect, it isn't a great fit, and I had yet to learn about different yarn weights, but the yarn was gifted by my mom, and I made it while on bed rest after surgery. 
Heather, a baby blanket made by a friend for my 22-year-old son when I was pregnant. I'll do a couple more. I made my mother a rose garden vest print with each rose of a different color. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me scroll down to the bottom, see if I miss anybody. Okay, no. And somebody said, <laughs> clap trap, clap trap. Yes, please, for a tutorial on how to fix a granny stitch crochet hole. My grandchild got a hold, ooh, got a hold of scissors and decided to practice on her blanket. And it's getting cold here. Definitely, guys. I, I can help you out with that. Cynthia, I didn't make anything for the grands yet. You must do that. Yes, you must. You got to so they can say one day, a hundred years from now, you never know. Your great, great, great grandchild might be somewhere holding something that you made and talking about how wonderful it is. That's crazy. All right. So we're going to hop back into this roundup. If you are thinking I'm talking too much, uh, don't worry. I got all these free patterns linked down in the description box below. And I guess did anybody try to use the subscribe button? I don't think the lights work, so I think I'm going to give up on that. We know it works during Super Chat, but I tried. All right, so let's hop back into this roundup with the very next one. Let me pull up my script. Share the screen. We did that one. What pattern is next? Ooh, ah, come on. Not today. Close. This is called the Andromeda Doily. Stare too long at the Andromeda doily from the blue raindrops, and you might just become mesmerized by the swirling vertex at the center. It looks like a star to me, but maybe a flower. What do you think? It looks more like a, what are those called? You, when you're a kid, you blow on a pinwheel. It kind of looks like a pinwheel to me, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And this pattern was made by Blue Raindrop. And... We have a super chat. We got the lights going on. It's Sabrina. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it so much. And as usual, I want to give the cheers to you. Cheers. For always being awesome, Sabrina, and showing up to the live streams on Saturday. I truly appreciate your company. Thank you. So let's give you a spin on the wheel of patterns. Here we go. You win the crochet bubble hat. Just make sure I'm still sharing the screen. Let me show you what the bubble stitch hat looks like. Where are you, bubble stitch hat? And if you've ever received this pattern before, you can go into my Etsy, tell me what you want, and just email me. Sabrina, I know you remember the routine. Make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com to receive your pattern. And now you guys can watch my butt and turn off the lights that are going off. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, Ooh, I was being cute and trying to tiptoe back to the seat, and I got a resting-related injury. Then I just pulled my back. That's what happens when you turn 42. You hurt yourself out of nowhere. All I did was try to sit down. Okay, we're going to make our way through this. Oh, Lord of mercy. It's so youthful. Oh, my back. Oh, okay. Let's hop back into this roundup. Let's not wash me in my back in pain. <laughs> All right, the next pattern. Here we go. Let me scroll down a little bit. This is called the Frozen Lotus. Turn up the drama with a crochet doily that makes uh, use of negative space to create larger than average doily and filled with lots and lots of lovely lace. My favorite thing about this one is the purple and page color scheme. The designer of this pattern is Miho Crochet. Let's see if we can get a bigger picture. There we go. I want to see a bigger picture of these. That score. Once again, I'm going to say that's not a doily. That is artwork. That can go on my wall. I think this is just gorgeous. So some other color schemes. I think I like the gold color scheme better. Let me scroll back. I think I like this one better. I mean, it's all the same pattern, but the color scheme itself. All right. 
<sighs> okay, I made it. Sorry, guys. Just by turning off the thing, I just pulled something in my body. Knit and crochet tiger. I'm 48 and I get injured when I sneeze. Ooh. What was it? I think a week and a half ago, I had another resting related injury. I guess I laid down wrong and pulled something in my shoulder for like two days. My upper middle back. Ew. Stretch it out. You'll be all right. I'm trying. Ugh. I'm trying. Kimberly says, wait till you turn 50. <laughs> all right. So did I ask? Okay, did I ask the question before I hopped into the roundup? I completely forgot. I don't know. I'll ask the question now. I'm sorry, I forgot. But guys, okay, the question for you, do you have any crafts that's not crochet that you're obsessed about? Because most people have multi-crafts. You might be like a Martha Stewart type. You can crochet, you can knit, you can sew, you can do all these things. What is your other skill other than crochet. I'll go first. I don't have any. I don't think I have any other crafty skills. I'm a one trick pony. People uh, will call me like, hey, Alicia, do you think you can sew this for me? I'm like, I crochet. I don't sew. Alicia, could you knit this? I crochet. I don't knit. I am not multi craftual. I'm just not. But as you guys can tell, I my, my other hobby is plants. I love plants. I love to grow them. I love to propagate them. I just like watching things grow from nothing and just get big. I just love plants. So right now, I think I gave you enough time. What are your other crafty skills? Kimberly says, I love to use resin. My cousin was doing that and she made me so many cute resin things. I was thinking maybe I can do it too. And I just never gave it a try. Have you tried like resin crochet hooks? Does that work? I mean, of course it works. I've seen it, but have you done it? Uh, should I call you Al Skinner or A.L. Skinner? We'll just call you Skinner. <laughs> I knit, crochet, sew, draw, write, and border, and quilt. You are multi craftual. In the past, I've tried making jewelry. I wouldn't say I was a jewelry maker. I've tried. I've tried many things, but I've never been skilled at it. So that's amazing. Sabrina, I'm currently knitting, but I have taught myself almost everything just to challenge myself. And I love to make a uh, things I like. Maybe I said I don't challenge myself enough. Ooh, Nancy, I guess the closest I come to obsessed is with knitting. Hmm. I like knitting. Well, I don't like knitting. I can't do knitting. I like my knitting machine. I love the way knit looks. I've tried it and I guess I'm just too impatient. Kimberly loves resin, uh, knit and crochet tiger. I used to cross stitch and write sci-fi fantasy. Okay, that's outside the box. Lori, spinning, knitting, and learning to sew. So guys, if you notice me, uh, my voice stutter or catch, I've been, what's it called when your nose has been stuffy for like a month? Rhinotitis, right? I can never say the word right. Rhinotitis. You guys know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but that's what I have. And I can't breathe or talk correctly. We have some beating and jury. Oh, thank you for letting me know. So the lights do not work. I've been wondering if the, if you just showed up, I rig my lights to go off if somebody subscribes to the channel, but apparently it doesn't work. So thank you for letting me know. I was wondering if it was, I tried to subscribe and unsubscribe myself, but it wouldn't work either. So, but I appreciate, thank you. All right, so we're gonna hop back into this roundup. So what else, I got another question for you. Let's see what I got on my question list. Hmm. Oh, to continue with the uh, other talents, what is a craft? 
or ask, it doesn't have to be a craft. It can be a skill in life, speak a different language. I want to know what is something else that you've always wanted to do? Let it be a craft or learning how to write uh, sci-fi fantasies like Knit and Crochet Tiger. What is something you've always wanted to do? So let's hop back into this roundup. Share my screen. All right. This is called the Peacock Feather Mandala. I can definitely see the resemblance to this nickname in this pe Peacock Feather Mandala from Tally's Crochet. Have you noticed that some designers have started calling doilies mandalas instead? I guess it must be trending. But the designer of this pattern is Tally's Craft. Actually, I want to look at this a little bit closer so you guys can have a better view. It does remind me of a peacock. Just the little spacings and the arches gives me that whole peacock feel with the triangular parts right here. Gorgeous. This one is a work of art. Let me scroll down so you can see it better. This is called the Aria. Now, this one crochet doily that you definitely won't want to hide. Display it with pride on your wall or drape it over the back of your chair and it's certain to become a focal point of your home. This, I don't know, it reminds me of little wheat leaves and not wheat leaves. You know how wheat has the little, I can't describe it, but it reminds me of that or I can see the flower, a star, grapes, whatever. This is Oh, now I can see with her. I love that she has, she has her, uh, excuse me. I love how she has her hands in the picture. So you can see exactly how big this actually is. Oh my goodness. This is gorgeous. Would any of you make this into a rug? Would it be hard to make these like uh, puff bobble stitches, clusters? What is this, a bobble stitch? That's more a bobble than a cluster. I don't know. Is that hard to do with thicker yarn or like a rope. I gotta know. All right. So the question that I asked, what was the question that I asked? Oh, what else would you like to do? For myself, I wish I could make jewelry. And I also wish, I've been trying to learn how to speak Spanish for the past three months. Nothing too serious, but, you know, on the Spanish apps or watching uh, Spanish TV shows on YouTube, like really, really remedial Spanish TV shows on YouTube. But those are the two things I want to learn how to make jewelry and I want to learn how to speak Spanish. That's all I want to do in life. Hopefully, eventually I'll get there. Cross your fingers for me. So what do you guys want to do? Claptrap. I like to learn how to ride a horse, weaving with a loom and learn to play the flute as well. Oh, and learn to play a flute well enough to join a band. Cheers to you. This is something I didn't know about you. I used to want to draw for Marvel Comics. It's like I'm getting insights like your brains. What do you guys really like? Lori! Be a wildlife photographer. Go do it. Do it right now. Get yourself a camera and just go. I mean, it's cold. Maybe not right now. Soon. Go outside and do it. That's interesting to know about you. But don't you love plants? Because I used to have another Facebook page. I got kicked off of it. And me and Lori were friends on that Facebook page. But I'm never on anymore because they kicked me out. And I remember you seeing like... Having like growing things. I love growing things. So Leanne says, learn to play the guitar so I can sing and play in front of the class at the same time. That was one of my dreams too. At one point in my 20s, I even bought a guitar. I just bought it. I never used it. But you should. You definitely should. Yes. Nancy wants to learn to spin her own yarn. Okay, we got a fashion designer. My dream career choice was to be a fashion designer. Be an astronaut in space, purely Caribbean. Thank you, Nancy. 
Ryan, can I can't pronounce it. Ryan a tight, Ryan not tight. I can't, but what she spelled is what I have. <laughs> uh cool crafty creations. I've made a few. Oh, we were talking about crochet hooks from the previous ones. I've made a few resin crochet hooks. Not for me, but I tried. All right. So do we have any more? Uh-oh. Did I just make it through all the? I made through almost all of these. We have one more and another pattern is a tutorial. Maybe I can rewind it back. Does she have a picture? She does not. Okay, so I'm just going to show you my very last one. Hide this. And the question will be, actually, the question will be, no question. If you have any cool crochet items right now that you want to show off, I put my email address down in the description box, littlejohnsyarn at gmail.com. If you want to show off what you're making right now and send it to me, so you can show the world what you made. We can do that right after we go over this very last pattern. So you can email me. And if I missed anybody from last week, I'm sorry. But you can email me again and show me your work. And that's just me. Ooh, beautiful. This is so big. Let's see if I can reduce the page a little bit so you can see it. There we go. This last pattern is called... I'm scrolling and I can't find it. The early morning mandala. Talk about a conversation starter. The early morning mandala from Verculus certainly has a lot going on between the calming color scheme and the intricate lace work. If you're looking for a crochet doily pattern, then uh, that are on the smaller side, you can always drop down a yarn and hook size. This is a beautiful pattern. Let's get all the views. I think my favorite was the blue one, back. this one. This is my favorite right here. Well, they're all the same, but the yarn choice. I'm always amazed by people who do amazing things with yarn. I mean, yarn color choices, because I just, I can't match. I can't. So back to us. If you guys have any questions for me, you can ask them now. Just make sure you put question marks in front of them. I'm going to hop into my email and see if anybody emailed. But uh oh, we did get one. So I'm going to share my screen. If you'd like to share anything that you're working on, you can do it now. So right now, we're going to hop into my email. We got one from Jamie. I love making doilies. It's my favorite winter crochet go-to. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, I think I like, uh, I like this one even better. Just, I don't know. These reminds me of little, it's not like a snowflake. I can't exactly put my finger on it, but I love how delicate just the outer edges are. Nope, I lie. I love this one even better. It's like each time I click, the doily gets better. This is my favorite doily. This should have been on my roundup. What pattern is this? Oh, that's gorgeous. Is this something for Christmas? Let's see if anybody else sent me. Oh, we got another one. Leanne, fave. All right, let's hop into hers. This is the Symmetry Cow from Katia. Did I say that right? I, uh, I cannot speak today, so sorry, guys. I just started knitting, and I'm learning a lot. Ooh, the colors. See, I just love the way the knit stitches look. I think I love crochet. Crochet is my heart, but knit looks neater than crochet at times. Does that make sense? Not that crochet is messy. Crochet is my heart, but there's something so tucked and organized about the stitches of um, knit. Oh, uh, thank you, Leanne. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, yay, we got more. Oh, beautiful. Hold on, did you write anything with it? 
our girl Bergie, Bergie that wanted to be, I'm remembering all your dreams. You were the comic book, Marvel comic book drawer. So this makes sense, the things that you're crocheting. Oh yeah, you gotta work, you gotta brush out that tail, but this is amazing. You guys are so skilled. I feel like, who am I? But I didn't read what uh, a cool crafty creation set with her bag. Did you say anything with it or you just sent? Nope, you just sent a picture. And my girl, Lori Murphy. What are you putting together, Lori? Are you making like patchwork? I see your granny scores, but what are you putting together? What are you making? You you leaving me hanging. You just gave me the picture, Lori. What's the rest? What you making? All right, I'm going to talk for probably a little bit more. If you would like to send me any of your crochet patterns, what you're working on, this is the perfect time to do it. If you want to show off or talk about, what's the word? Brag about what you make. You can do that now also. Just put a question mark in front of it and we'll hop right into it. Let's see, what did I miss? Oh, thank you. You gave me two granny squares and I was supposed to guess a jacket. But now I'm just picking with you. <laughs> Sorry, she said it's a jacket. All of your work is amazing. Oh, you sent an email? Let me check. I see it. Amanda. Oh, now I know your name. What do we get? How flippin' delicate is that? That is so cute. How long did that little, that how, how long did that take? Really? What's, do you, okay, just in case, before you tell me exactly how long it take, tell me what size crochet hook. Oh, tiny torque made with thread. What size crochet hook did you make? That that's so tiny. It's sewing. Sewing thread. Sewing thread. Everybody, I repeat, sewing thread. Oh my goodness. Cheers to you. That's absolute. Oh, wait. At respect. Respect. It took you a couple of hours. What were you making it for? Is it supposed to be for something else or a little display? What were you making that for? We we need to know what this tiny, adorable little hat is for. <laughs> hey, what's up, stranger than fiction? Long time no see. Wow, that would kill my eyes. That's some small stitches. You're getting all type of shallows right there. Hey, Scout Inquirer. Greetings from New York. Hi, Alicia and chat. This is my first live stream and new subscriber here. I found your channel and I truly enjoy all your videos and beautiful creations. Scout Trainer, thank you so much for showing up to the channel and cheers. Right now, we're pretty much wrapping up the live stream. If you have, I was letting people send their stuff to show off or brag about what you're making. You can do that in the comments or you can email some of your work. So I'm going to wrap this. Let's see if there's any more emails left. There are two more emails. Let me read this. I still can't get over that hat. That is absolutely amazing. Nuts, amazing, incredible. It's all type of things like all into one. <gasps> oh, look at that. I love that. What is that? A right? No. It's not a right. It's not a right. What dinosaur is that? I'm my kid is now 11. I no longer know my dinosaurs. <laughs> you make some big amigurumi. Awesome. Eeyore, see, Eeyore, that's my dude right there. Eeyore, that's what I call my son, Eeyore. He, there's something about my kid that's always like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and one more. Uh, how big is that? Is that tiny? Is that a little tiny helmet? 
Head tail. Yep, that is. Okay, now I'm all in your uh in your house looking around. I love the tigger. Okay, who else do we have in our email? Virgie showing off. Double gradient boomerang shaw. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, Virgie, let me let me scroll in. How do you know? Says I'm color incompetent. This <laughs> I'm choking. Color coordination is awesome. How do you know these two go perfectly together? How do you? I can't combine like that. If I'm using a, a yarn that has color in it, I just got one yarn right there. <laughs> okay, next one. Mosaic bucket bags. Do you are you like do you sell your work? Cause you make some stuff like some nice quality, gorgeous items that like belong in a shop. So are you a seller? You have to be a seller. I can't see you just making these and they just being beautiful. Nancy, let's go through Nancy's work. Okay. I always say this wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Dying on camera. Filet, filet crochet. Beautiful. I can see the little heart in the center. Oh, how big? Okay, is this a chair? How big is this? I can't tell exactly. Is this a couch? Futon. This is a futon. So this is a pretty big blanket. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, is that the viral shawl? Another beautiful work. Nope. Oh, I think these are my little favorites. I like this silver one right here. Once again, I'm a weirdo. Since like, we are doing a doily live stream, this doily would go straight on my wall. Nope, nope. This, this isn't on the wall. This is one of the dining room table for Thanksgiving, but people are coming over to eat. Now I gotta take it off the table because I don't want anybody to mess this up. This is gorgeous. I just got to go back to this one. Whoo. Ah, love it. All right. I think we made it through everybody's in the inbox. All right, guys. We've been talking for pretty much an hour. I Oh, here's the answer. Virgie. Yes, she does sell. I was about to say, you make too many beautiful things not to be making cash money with it. Oh, wait. You sometimes you sell? You need to sell all the time that i guess you don't have to sell that's just me i don't want to take the joy away from crochet but your work is is beautiful i just want to let you know all right guys i hope you enjoyed this live stream thanks for joining along with me and once again we'll do this all again i don't know i might be back next week We'll see. I'll let you know because it is Thanksgiving weekend and I might want to sit around and be eating leftovers. So, guys, thanks for joining me on this live stream and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Click the button and.